Podcast, aka Marcus and Tony, is here with Is It Worth It for The Last of Us Remastered from the PlayStation 3 over to the PlayStation 4. Now, if you haven't figured it out already, Naughty Dog has decided to put their really good title, as, as some people say, The Last of Us from the PlayStation 3 over to the PlayStation 4 Remastered, so I am assume more polished, maybe 60 frames per second, something like that. And now, is it worth it? Is it worth just buying it? Or just getting it, even though the game itself has been out? Yeah, maybe. If you actually already played it, I would not recommend it. I mean, well, updated visuals, sixty, maybe 60 frames per second, but the same story. I, uh, I doubt that that's a, a head-turner, especially if you know the story, if you know how it goes. Spoiler alert, if you know how it ends. You know, so if you know, then don't worry about it. You know, just go about your day playing whatever games you want to play. Now, if you're someone who's never had the PS3, and if you're someone who is, you know, maybe you played nothing but 360 games or whatever, and you just got the PS4, give it a shot. You know, it's one of Naughty, it's Naughty Dog, okay? Naughty Dog's one of the best developers, in my opinion, out there because they've done so many great games and. I would say go for it you know I'm you know I'm buying it because I want to try it you know so that's just me but I would recommend it you know especially if you weren't satisfied with like the 60 frames of the visuals and fine and go get it now okay <laughs> it just seems kind of weird to you know you know buy a game and not be satisfied with it and then have a, a better version come out and then say oh I'll just get that instead okay whatever but anyways that's pretty much it for me thank you all for watching please subscribe for more and uh yeah how's the sound of this thing it's pretty good i hope so anyways thank you all for watching and have a good day